preheat PLA or whatever you're using, doesn't really matter. Go ahead and remove filament. Remove this clip from your extruder. And then push this in. Pull out your Bowden tube. Cut your filament at an angle. Stick it back in, run it through. Until it pops out, go ahead and lock it into place. Put the clip back in. Use your cutters. Cut it flush right up against that. Go to ready, in, out, hit in, type in 100, hit OK. At this point, 100 millimeters should extrude from the extruder. Once the extruder's done extruding, go ahead and cut it off flush just like you did earlier. Go back down, hit that again. Now you're gonna enter 200 and it's just gonna extrude another 100 millimeters of filament. And we're gonna do this one more time, so we have three 100 pieces, 100 millimeter pieces. All right, the second one's done. I'm gonna cut it off flush. Come back down, enter 300. Now it's gonna spit out another 100 millimeters. Third one's done. We're going to cut it flush. Now we have three pieces. Now you want to take a caliper gauge, zero it out, and you want to measure all three of these pieces. And then you want to take all three measurements and get your average. So you'll take all three measurements and divide it by three. And that'll be your average length that you're getting out every single time you tell it you want 100 millimeters. I measured all three, I added them together, I divided them by three and gave me my average of 98.06. Go to settings, advanced settings, movement, TX, RTO, Right there, the ETX RTO is set at 96.4. On your phone or computer, you can go to this website and I'll leave a link in the comments. So what you wanna do is you enter your current E-steps, which our current E-steps were the ETX RTO at 96.4. So we'll enter 96.4. And then our actual E-steps was the number that we came up with here. 
which is 98.06, 98.06, and our new E steps would be 98.31. Go to settings, advanced movement, TXRTO, ETXRTO. Our new number was 98.3. Hit enter. And just set your new value. Go to ready and out. Since we've already extruded 300 millimeters, we'll go ahead and tell it we're going to do 400. So it should extrude what it thinks is another 100. But now that we've calibrated the E steps, we should get an exact number of 100 millimeters. So we'll hit 400 and it's extruding. It's done extruding the 100 millimeters. I'm going to cut it off flush. And I'm going to measure that. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and measure this at the same time, but as long as you flatten that out the best that you can and then take your measurement, I came up with 100.07 millimeters, which is very accurate, pretty, pretty dang close. Uh, and that's how you calibrate your E-steps. Once your calibrations are done, don't forget to pull this back out. Put your tube back in, put your clip back in, put your filament back in, and then lock it into place.